Good day everyone, I am Sheila May G. Finiquito and the topic which I am going to discuss is all about fingerprint filing and reference classification. Filing of fingerprint records involving the Henry system and newly adapted system by PNP. The Henry classification system is a long-standing method developed by Sir Edward Henry in the late 1800s for criminal investigation in British India. It was the basis of modern-day AFES classification methods up until the 1990s. The Henry classification system allows for logical categorization of 10 print fingerprint records into primary groupings based on fingerprint pattern types. The Henry classification system allows for up to 1,024 primary groupings. Impact on current biometric systems The Henry classification system has been a highly influential force in the formation of current AFES technology or automated fingerprint identification system. Explanation in filing the Henry system The Henry classification system allows for logical categorization of 10 print fingerprint records into primary groupings based on fingerprint pattern types. This system reduces the effort necessary to search large numbers of fingerprint records by classifying fingerprint records according to gross physiological characteristics. Subsequent searches, manual or automated, Utilizing granular characteristics such as minutia are greatly simplified. The system assigns each finger a number according to the order in which it is located in the hand, beginning with the right thumb as number 1 and ending with the left pinky as number 10. The system also assigns a numerical value to fingers that contain a world pattern in which finger 1 and 2, the value is 16, fingers 3 and 4, 8, fingers 5 and 6, 4, fingers 7 and 8, 2, and fingers 9 and 10 is 1. The fingerprint records primary grouping is determined by calculating the ratio of 1 plus the sum of the values of, of the world pattern or even numbered fingers divided by 1 plus the sum of the values of the world pattern or add numbered fingers. As you can see in the example below, only finger number 8 and finger number 2 has world pattern, in which in the primary grouping, only world pattern has a value. Finger number 8 or left middle finger has a value of 2, and finger number 2 or right index has the value of 16. Or... 16 plus 2 over 0 plus 1 over 1 equals 19 over 1. Therefore, this individual belongs to the 19 is to 1 primary group. If, for example, an individual has not, I mean, does not have any word pattern fingerprints, his or her classification ratio or primary group would be 1 is to 1. If an individual has all 10 fingerprints containing a world pattern, his or her classification ratio would be 32 is to 32. Note that the Henry classification system allows for up to 1,024 primary groupings. The sequencing operation. The first step, separate all these classified cards into 5 piles. Each pile will contain a number of cards. For pile 1, all cards having the denominators 1 put together. In pile 2, cards having denominator of 2 to 12 inclusive are put together. Third pile will have piles, I mean will have sets of cards with denominators of 13 to 19 inclusive. All sets with denominators 20 to 27 inclusive are placed in pile 4. And in the fifth pile, those sets denominators 28 to 32 inclusive are put together. The second step, sorting again of cards in each pile according to their denominators. Beginning to sort the cards in pile 5, 
by placing all cards into smaller piles, starting with denominator 28, then one for denominator 29, and on so 30, 31, and 32. After that, sort out the cards again in each group of the smaller piles according to primary numerators. If this has been attained, proceed by placing cards with primary denominators 31 on the top of 32, those with 30 on the top of 31, 29 on the top of 30, and 28 on the top of 29. Continue the procedure by sorting out the cards in original pile 4 according to their denominator and numerators, then place the resorting pile on top of pile 5. By doing the same procedure, all the original 5 piles will end up with 100 cards being arranged from top to bottom, ready for filing and searching from the first to the last in a systematic way without unnecessary jumping back and forth from one drawer to another. To maintain bureau operation in filing fingerprint cards, it is necessary for a large identified bureau to further sequence these cards beyond the primary classification. How to file a set of prints having this classification? The first thing to do when filing a set of prints that has been classified as shown in this example is look at the primary classification for that guides us to which drawer the set is to file. On every front panel of each drawer of the filing cabinet, are indicated the primary classification of the cards with the drawer. The primary denominators are key numbers to cabinet. The next step is to find the secondary denominator, which in out example is T. The secondary tabs are shown as capital A, T, R, U, W, C, D, and X, usually on the black background. These secondary tabs read across from row across to the right. The first letter of each row represents the, de the denominator or the left hand, while the remaining letters of the rows are numerators of the right hand. Henry classification system consists of the following primary, secondary, small letters, subsecondary, small letters, major, final, and key. Primary, a numeric value is, is assigned to each of the 10 finger blocks, ranging from 16 to 2. When a world appears, it assumes the value of that finger block. All other pattern types are disregarded when computing the primary. The numerator equals to the total fingers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 plus 1. The denominators equals to the total fingers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, plus 1. The primary is placed in the center of the classification line. Secondary. The secondary is obtained from the pattern types present in index finger. Finger number 2 is the numerator. Finger number 3 is the denominator. The secondary is placed on the classification line to the right of the primary. Capital letters are used to rep represent the secondary. The following letters are used. In plain arc is letter A, tented arc is T, radial loop is R, color loop is U, all words is W. Small letters. Small letters consist of capital A, small a, capital T, small t, or small r only. Small letters appear on the classification line as their relative position to the index fingers. All small letters must be represented in the classification formula. Dashes are used in the formula to indicate an ulnar loop or whirl intervening between the index finger in the first small letter or between two small letters. Dashes will appear on the right side of the secondary only. Consecutive small letters are indicated by 2A, 2T, 2R, 3A, 3T, and 3R as they appear in fingers 3 to 5 and 8 to 10. The subsecondary is computed from fingers 2, 3, and 4, numerator, and 7, 8, and 9, denominator. The subsecondary appears on the classification line 
to the immediate right of the secondary only if no small letters are present. Definitive values are assigned to each finger used in the subsecondary. Pearl tracing are also part of subsecondary. Major, the major is computed using the tabs. The major appears on the on the classification line to the immediate left of the primary. Finger number one has two sets of values as a loop and is used as numerator. Finger number six has one set of values as loop and remains constant. It is also used as denominator. If worlds are present in both times, the tracing are used as the major. A small letter ATR in either or both times eliminates the major. When number six finger is whirl and number one finger is a loop, use tracing of number six for denominator and the first set of values in number one for numerator. If number six has ridge count of number 17 or more, use the second set of values for finger number one. The final is computed using finger block 5 or 10. The final appears on the classification line to the right of the subsecondary. The final is taken from finger number 5 if it is either an ulnar or radial loop and placed in the numerator of the classification. That ends my presentation. God bless us all.